Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you three different craft projects I did with my son that are all St. Patrick's Day themed. All right, if you're new to this channel, my name is Claire. I'm mother to two beautiful boys, Fox, my two-year-old, and Desmond, my 10-month-old. And this channel is all sorts of things having to do with motherhood and beauty, product reviews, all sorts of life stuff like that. So if you're into that stuff, definitely hit the subscribe button down below. And in today's video, Fox and I are doing three different St. Patrick's Day themed crafts that I found on Pinterest. Now, he's like a little bit young to be doing some of it. I had to guide him quite a bit, so these projects would be good for children of all ages. So I hope you enjoy. All right, because this project might get a little bit messy, I'm gonna go ahead and cover my table. You could use like, I don't know, paper towel or newspaper, but I have this big roll from Ikea that I like to use for projects. Uh, this, actually it's a bib, it's from Ikea too, but I use it for crafting as well because it keeps all of his clothes nice and clean. And this first project, I remember doing this as a child, and that is blow painting. And I've just given him a straw here, and I'm going to just throw some paint on the paper. They're all different color greens, and then I'm going to add just like a spoonful of water and swish it around. And we tried so hard to have him blow, and he was like working so hard at it. Um, I, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, you just blow the paint around and it makes really cool designs. Once our blow paintings are nice and dry, I'm going to take a piece of cardstock and make a heart shape and I'm going to use it as a stencil for our shamrocks. And I'm just picking like particularly like pretty spots on our paintings that include like some different fun colors and I'm going to cut four of them out. And now Fox is going to help me glue them all together in the shape of a lucky four-leaf clover. Alright, this next craft idea is using marshmallows, which Fox was extremely excited about. And actually, you use them as a stamp to make little shamrocks. And Fox really enjoyed this one. He ate like a dozen marshmallows, and I'm pretty sure this was his favorite thing of the day. I'm just going to add some stems onto our shamrocks so you can kind of tell what they are. And of course, I'm going to write his name and the date so that one day when this ends up in a box of all of his interesting artwork, he can look back on it. But for now, it's going on the refrigerator. This last project is actually going on a canvas because I have a special place I want to hang it in my house, but you could really do it on anything. And we are using his handprints to make a four-leaf clover. And of course, he was really into getting all painted and there's like an extra handprint on there, but I think that adds character and it really shows off the fact that he is too and it's cute and funny to me. So. 
I kind of liked that. After we've put our four hand prints together, I'm going to go ahead and just put a nice clover shape around it so it's a little bit more defined and you can kind of tell what it is and I'm going to add a little stem on there, it's super cute. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. We had a really fun time making all these craft projects. My house is totally St. Patrick's Day out. There's paint in places that there shouldn't be, but we had a good day. Definitely give these a try at home. Leave me a comment if you like this video. Give me a thumbs up and of course, subscribe for more mom stuff, lady stuff, and life stuff. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Bye. <laughs> Yeah. Is that a tasty marshmallow? Yeah. <laughs>